Denise here. Welcome to the fourth week of our summer reading program. Uh, this week we're back home where most of us live here in California. So here's our weekly packet we have for you, filled with lots of crafts and fun things to take home and do at home. And today we are actually going to do the Joshua Tree at Sunset craft. Okay, so we're going to pull out the things we need. I have them right here. We have a Joshua Tree template that we're going to cut out soon. Some little fun little fuzzy green glitter balls, pom-poms. A little bit of green tissue paper. A piece of brown construction paper, which is going to be our um, trunk and the branches of our Joshua Tree. And then we have three pieces of brightly colored paper, which we'll see what we're going to do with those. That's to make your, your sunset. And then we have our little backing sheet, which is blue, which is going to represent the sky that our Joshua Tree is against. Okay, so we'll put those aside for now. First thing you're going to do is, sorry about that. You've got your Joshua Tree template. Here, he's fighting with me a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna cut them out. So we're just gonna cut them out with our little safety scissors. We need safety scissors. We're also gonna need a glue stick and a little pencil, okay? So we're gonna cut him all the way out like that. And then what we end up with is the template like this, okay? Next we take our brown construction paper, we put our template down, and we take the pencil, and we just trace all the way around, all the way up his trunk, in and out of his little branches, all the way around like that, okay? So you'll just do it all the way like that. And you don't need him anymore. And you'll start to cut out your Joshua tree, okay? So you'll just cut along the lines and cut them all out and cut them all like that. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Here we have him right here, ready, cut out for you. Okay, so we're going to put him here. We've got our blue background paper. We're going to need that in a sec. And then we have our three different colored sheets, okay? So this is what's going to make up the background. So I don't know if you've ever seen when you have a really beautiful sunset and the clouds are kind of in the, in the distance and the sun kind of refracts in a certain way and makes the sky all these different beautiful colors, something like pinks and reds and yellows. And that's kind of the little, the thing that we're going for. We're trying to make a pretty picture just like that. Okay. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to kind of rip them, rip kind of long strips. We want to want them to be kind of jaggedy and all different because clouds aren't all the same, right? They're not, they're not straight lines usually. They're kind of all jaggedy and unique. Okay, so we're gonna do with the pink and do all the reds. And like I said, you want them to all be a little different. Okay, so we'll put that off there and we'll go to our next thing. So now, I've got my blue paper, I've got all my little clouds that I've, that I've ripped up, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start gluing them. So you're going to take it, use your glue, your glue stick. You can also use white glue if you want, if that's all you have, that's perfectly fine. And we're just going to start putting them on our paper, okay, like that. You want to make sort of a, a really nice little sunset. So what you would do is you would just go ahead and I'd like to mix up the colors a little bit, okay? So you know, do one here. This one I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of colored paper, strips of colored paper, and then I just glued them all like that, okay? Then once you have those all nice and glued on and ready to go, 
Then you take the glue and you glue the whole back of your Joshua tree and you put your Joshua tree right on like that. Okay, so that is actually gonna look like this. So this is what it should look like when you're finished. But yours is gonna be uniquely yours. You're gonna have, you know, colors in different orders or however you want it. You don't have to do it like I do it. Just use your imagination and do it like that. So now the last part, I don't know if you've ever been to Joshua Tree National Park. It's a beautiful park and the wonderful thing about it for us here in the Coachella Valley is it's not very far. So it's easy to take a day trip up there and see all the beautiful things in the park. And obviously one of the unique things, the namesake of the park are Joshua trees. So they do have these, you know, these crookedy little branches and then they have like sort of little spiky things on top. And that's where these little pom-poms come in. So we're gonna put them on, onto the ends of the branches to make it hopefully look like a Joshua tree, okay? And the Joshua tree, I don't know if you know this, is actually a member of the agave family. So a lot of, a lot of us have agave plants in our gardens. They're big spiky plants, but it's a big family and has lots of different plants. And they all look a little different. Okay, so here's the Joshua tree that we did with the little glitter pom-poms. Now the other thing you might want to do, and we did give you some green tissue paper as well, is to finish these little things at the top, your little poofs, instead of using the glitter uh, pom-poms, you could use some tissue paper. And here I've done most of it, but you could just finish it off if you want, and just sort of mush up the tissue paper to make it kind of spiky looking, and then just do it with tissue paper instead. I kind of like the pom-poms, but you know, there's always more than one way to do things. So we have a couple of different options for you. Okay, so here we have the finished one with the little uh, tissue paper spikes, and here we have with the little glitter pom-poms. So that's what we did today, the Joshua tree at sunset. Okay, so again, those are crafts for today. Want to let you know also, we have lots of books at our library about uh, different kinds of desert plants and animals. And I just wanted to share a few with you today. Um, here's one called Desert Animals, which can be a lot of fun. Lots of lizards and fun things like that. Life in the desert. And then we have Plants of the Desert. Oops, we won't be able to see that so well, but Plants in the Desert, okay. So remember all these books and a lot more are available at our library for you to take out anytime you want. And that's it for this week. Thank you, see you later.